that weapon's level 3. Uh, which is why Idris is getting the Armor Carapace right now. Not going to be super, super effective, but wow, he's actually getting that expansion. That's a rare expansion to see get uh, in this map. One Zergling gets fried there by the, po by the uh, well, one poor Zergling by the Colossus. And these Corruptors are done as well. Um, maybe Idris is going to be doing some sort of uh, trick to go above 100 supplies, well, or 200 supply again, but probably not. Uh, it is mineral intensive to do that. And it looks like these units are, these armies are just posturing each other mostly. And look, he's even throwing away more Zerglings. These changings are actually entirely unnoticed right now by Huck. He'll probably notice them pretty soon. Gets one. Got the other. Okay. So he did spot them. But Idra got a good size, or a good eye, rather, of the composition of Huck's army. And, you know, it's kind of hard to say exactly what they're going for. I mean, this is obviously, this is just a bit split map scenario. Now, what, I mean, what's going to happen, most likely, is that there's going to be a big engagement. And Huck's going to come out ahead because Protoss armies tend to come out ahead. And then Idra's going to be able to remax faster. He should have tons and tons of larvae sitting around in these hatcheries. Look at that. 11 larvae. 2 larvae. 15 larvae. And looks like an engagement. Nice hallucinations for the void rays right there. Those aren't real void rays. However, since there's no anti-air, it doesn't matter anyway. And Idra's able to spot that they are, in fact, hallucinations. Able to get a lot of really key fungal growth off. However, Hawk doing some nice job with the control of the stalkers. Able to focus down a lot of the stalkers there. And Hawk was able to come ahead on this. Uh, Idris probably going to want a couple of fungal growths to try to delay him. And the spine crawlers are going to be effective as, for that as well. And fungal growths are going off. And a number of infested Terrans as well. The rest of the infestors are going to be taken out though. But look at that. The splat counts remain relatively similar. Idris not going to want to send his army in piecemeal right now though. He needs to... He's actually only building Zerglings right now, and he's letting them all go in and die. He needs to be... He doesn't have a better rally point than that. He can't be losing his forces like that. And actually, he just GG's out of this game. Wow. So... Idra, I mean, I I guess that... I mean, the... It didn't look, like, super devastating. It didn't look super devastating, that initial conflict. But look at how many resources Idra has stockpiled. Like, he has tons and tons of resources that he's not utilizing. Um... And, you know, it wasn't because he didn't have enough larva, he just wasn't able to build Remax fast enough. So, you know, it's hard to say exactly where he went wrong because this was such, like, a big resource game and it all comes down to one fight, which, you know, kind of seems... You know, it almost seems silly, but a lot of games in StarCraft are like that. And look at those upgrades, actually, for Hawk. Really nice upgrades. It's pretty rare that I see someone get the shields upgrades. Uh, but, you know, that's the that's the danger of being Zerg, is you have to be able to fight and then Remax, which is why generally, generally Zerg wants to fight. You know, if the Zerg was fighting over here... Then when they remax and the Protoss army's here, then Zerg's able to pull all their units together. He's also getting all Zerglings, so I'm a little curious about that decision. I also kind of wonder why he didn't go for Baneling Bombs, why he opted for the Broodlords instead. Uh, because Baneling Bombs with three weapons upgrades, melee weapons upgrades, are extremely, extremely effective. Um, and he could have done that in addition to Broodlords. He had a lot of extra resources. So, uh, and he had the Fungal Gross to tie down the units, so Blink wouldn't have mattered as much. So I'm not quite sure why he didn't do that. Uh, I guess he opted to go for kind of the Roach... Roach, Ling, Infester, Broodlord kind of combination and, and with no bombs. But the bombs are, deal a lot of damage and are very effective. Uh, but this is a really good game. And Huck, you know, just out... I mean, he outplayed Idra, fair and, uh, plain and simple. And he did a really great job and was just really impressive overall. Uh, Idra was also very impressive. I don't want to disparage him or anything. I think he did a good job as well. And uh, uh, they'll definitely be able to help each other learn as teammates. But it looks like Idra did, in fact, get eliminated from the North American, uh, from the North American Invitational. So, Hawk's going to be able to move forward, and we're going to see uh, who ends up winning uh, the match later. And so, this is uh, PGL Mooncraft, signing out.